Like most of Northeast Ohio, Shaker Heights was blasted with snow and wind on Tuesday, and now people living there say they're upset with the city's response to that storm, but others are urging patience. News 5's Emily Hamilton spoke with city officials about the challenges they were facing. With more than a foot of snow in under 24 hours, some Shaker Heights residents were not pleased with the conditions of the roadways. It was hard to keep up with. Um, I could go up Shaker Boulevard. By the time I came back down westbound, you could not tell that I had been there. And they took to social media to voice those complaints. There were some residents that were upset, and visibly so. Wait, Daddy! Some, though, are coming to the defense of the Public Works Department. I've never had an, an, an opportunity in the 12 years, I think, where we've needed to complain uh, about, uh, about the service department. And asking their neighbors to be patient. Craig Williams is a snowplow driver, and he says Tuesday's snowfall, combined with several days of rain beforehand, made for some of the worst road conditions he's seen in more than 20 years on the job. In my 20 plus years of plowing, this ranks in uh, the top three to five incidents that I've worked in. It was super heavy, dense snow. We had a sheet of ice underneath. Uh, it was it was just very difficult going trying to fly. Some residents suggest the city's public works department is understaffed, but assistant director of operations John Becker says that's not the case. We had 13 salt and plow trucks out. We had three loaders out. We had a backhoe out. We had five to six um, pickup trucks, uh, sidewalk plows, 23 to 25 uh, employees during the, the, the entire uh, storm itself. Martin Flynn is a longtime Shaker Heights resident and says he witnessed snowplow drivers working diligently for hours outside his front window. So you just got to accept that a really heavy snowfall like this, uh, we're not going to recover from it and look like July in, in, in an hour. Reporting in Shaker Heights, Emily Hamilton, News 5.